Let's go over some common errors you might encounter when using ModelSim and how to fix them. One of the most common errors is having module ports that aren't connected properly. I'm going to disconnect the test out wire in the test bench, which will cause its value to be undefined. Just a note, you can edit modules in ModelSim, but you can run into synchronization issues with Quartus if they're both open at the same time. So we recommend closing ModelSim and making changes in Quartus. Make sure to save your changes. Also, ModelSim doesn't pick up on some errors that Quartus does, so you should run analysis and synthesis in Quartus before reopening ModelSim. You can see the error indicated in the waveform by its color. If a waveform is blue, you've forgotten to connect one of the outputs of your test bench to your unit under test. This can also happen if you forgot to connect an output somewhere within your design. You'll get a similar result if you have an uninitialized input. I'll disconnect the AND2 inverter wire from the AND1 module. Now the input of inverter 1 is uninitialized and has undefined behavior. Here the waveform is red. This indicates an uninitialized input within the design. Later in the course, you'll work with state machines, where you can have registers that begin as uninitialized, but are initialized shortly after the simulation begins. In those cases, you'll see the first part of the waveform is red, but then it will become green for the rest of the simulation. Usually, the red at the beginning does not indicate an error in those situations. Ultimately, what matters is that none of the outputs of your design ever depend on undefined inputs. Other errors can occur when ModelSim tries to compile your design. Look at what happens when I add a comma to the last port connect of AND1. This will compile in Quartus, but ModelSim won't tolerate it. The simulation doesn't run, and if we look at the transcript window of ModelSim, we can see the error message, indicating an unexpected comma at line 13 of system.v. And again, we recommend fixing the errors in Quartus to avoid synchronization problems.